Welcome back to Just Off the Plate. It is episode 47. It's Armando. I'm Cody. Joining us tonight, he is back again, but this time he brings a championship title. Mr. Jose Bo Pedraza. Welcome back to the show. Congratulations. How are we doing? Thank you very much. Doing well. Doing, doing well. good, man. Feeling like a champion. Feeling like a champion. He came floating in he, when he came in he, there. He can't take the smile off his face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you didn't even have to cuss out anybody, right, to get this championship? <laughs> no. Actually, it became a real nice, nicer it was drama, guy. It was drama-free. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good, man. It was and, definitely and a good no game. no umpires were needed. I mean, no uh, rule books were needed. Like you, you right, know, guys, I had so. predicted. Yeah, good <laughs> prediction. Okay, just a common sense notion somewhere along the way. <laughs> we've, been, we've been playing this game for a while we don't need the rule book right? yeah. but I, I felt like it was gonna come out <laughs> yeah Th sometimes you need the lineups but you don't need the rule books no right yeah yeah <laughs> and and you know I'm, I'm sure adam was expecting a call you know anytime soon as he's watching the game right like okay here he comes where's it where's it where's the poke on coming in True. almost like he's new york right well yeah he has to expect it during these you know these good games uh, i better be on standby like new york right <laughs> yeah. yeah man because if it's not clear we're picking up the phone. Let's get clarification. <laughs> who, who was umpiring that game? I, for, I forgot. Todd and... What's the other guy's name? He's the... Uh, Char Charmo? Charmo? Was it? What's up, Jose? What's up, Pedro? Hmm. X. Jose. Michael. Pedro. Pedro. Oh, I thought you were still naming umpires. Like, <laughs> Damn, you had that many? Damn, that's how many. <laughs> no, they got. but they they did a good job. I mean, the the game went around. Yeah, pretty quick. I, I I was at the game. I came to see you. Um, it, it was chilly, so I didn't Real stick chill. around. You know, to congratulate everybody. But yeah, uh, it, from what I saw, it was uh, they were on point. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean that, that's Solid important, job. man. I yeah. mean that's important to have you know good umpiring and um, it makes a flow. But also when you got good defense and stuff, I mean you guys knocked out uh, nine any game right in about in about two and a half hours, right? Yeah, that helps. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, when, when the calls are easy, right? There's no you know controversial calls or that could go either way. <laughs> I mean, have ever, we we uh, both sides had guys hustling the ball. I mean they were making dives. They were. I mean, really solid defensive game all around. I mean, that that attributed to the uh, the speed of it, of course. Yeah. And yeah. when you know when you got good pitching, good pitching yeah, the, the three up, three down, almost every inning. So. Yeah, I mean, and that's and that's the thing, man. When you when you have the good pitching, you, the hitters are gonna struggle, right? But the innings are just gonna be if it's one, two, three. Whether you whether you strike out the side or you. You know, three pitches, everybody pops out or grounds out or whatever. I mean, it, it's just going to keep flowing. But L I know lots I, of pop outs. I bet because of the wind, right? I mean, we were talking yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, the wind, it was pretty windy that day. So there's a lot of factors to the game for sure. Right. I mean, the biggest one was the weather. I mean, the wind was, I don't know, what would you say, Cody? It was like 20 miles per hour, maybe? It, I, it, it was, it would gust 20, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. And I remember every once in a while that sun would peek its head out and yeah. it actually felt really nice but yeah um you know with the proper attire it felt good right but when that wind started blowing you know you can't do much with that yeah, yeah well that... yeah, i mean the other thing too man i mean so you so it's obviously going to affect the ball right but also affects your attitude towards the game right like it's cold like i don't want to fucking be here you know i mean other than you want to be that, the... is that your attitude <laughs> no, because I was I was at a different game. But because oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna get, go out on a limb and say all of those guys wanted to be there, <laughs> and and I get that, but it's like they want to be on a nice sunny day. Sure, well, you know? of course, of course. You know, you want but, it to be beautiful. I mean, would you rather play a meaningless game on a sunny day or a championship <laughs> game on a on a terrible day? Yeah, I see. I see your point. Okay. I see your point. Yeah, you, you just gotta yeah. look at it from all angles. Decisions right? were made that day. Decisions were made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, but it's it's uh. I mean, it was it was a great game. It was a great game. It could have been. Wish it would have been better weather. But of course, obviously, with the with the with the wind, you know, it affects affects the way the ball goes. I mean, you said there was a couple yeah. good shots that really good shots, really good um, shots on both sides, right? Yeah, like, yeah. The ball would just die at middle midfield. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did did was there any did any outfielders drop any balls? I don't know if I saw that because it was kind of hard to tell from the TV. Um. Cause you know, cause it, it gets it gets difficult to read, right? Yeah. As, as the outfielder gets out there, like if he, if he thought it was going deeper, like and it just dies, sometimes it could land in front of him without him not knowing, you know. So, I don't think I saw any of that, right? I don't Did you think see I, that? I, I mean, 
I didn't see anything. We were that... expecting it. every time it went up in the air, we're like they're gonna mess up, they're gonna mess up. Get ready, get ready. And now nah, they will catch. Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't see anything that uh, should have been caught that that was dropped. Yeah. You know, if it was a hit, it was yeah. a clean hit. You know. What's up, yeah. Balo? We got Jordan. Let's see who else we got in here. We got Jordan, Kyle. What's up, Kyle? Sergio. We got Rhino in here. Victor. What's up, Victor? Pedro. Yeah, man. We got a lot of people in here. X is in here. Of course, got support. You got Tim. You got to support the. You got to support the Hefe, man. Got to support the Hefe. Of course. Uh, man. Kyle says rumor has it the pitcher at the end is blaming the buck on the wind. That's interesting. I I was gonna ask about that. Well, I, I, I mean, his back was towards the wind. You know, um, I, I didn't know when that was going to come up. Obviously, that was a big part of the, the game. Oh, yeah. Let's right? not, you know, we can save it for later. <laughs> I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it, you know. Yeah. I mean. I, I feel, I feel, um, I think the baseball gods were looking at Cyclones' um, way, you know. Honestly, I thought it was my dad's ghost. He <laughs> <laughs> was like, you know what? It's about time we just, Dude, cause, <laughs> just slap the ball. Dude, cause, either that or a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <something. laughs> yeah. I mean, it could have it could have well, very well been the um, you know, the wind or whatever, you know, blowing it down. Because you know, you 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 kind of gripping the ball, whatever. Pitchers can chime in, or whether how hard they're holding the fucking ball. But you really don't see that a lot, you know. And the no. fact that you had a guy on third base is, you know, uh, crazy, right? Because he could have been on second base, could have been on first base. Doesn't make a difference. But you had the guy at third, drops the ball, a balk, walk the go ahead run. Right, yeah, ninth they, inning, right? They were keeping us station to station too, so yeah. they weren't giving us any free bases at all. So I mean, every time there was a, a little bitty mistake, a little window opportunity, we took it, and I think that was a that was how we got onto Horacio was on third base, and uh, I I just can't believe it. I mean, we had Scotty on the mound. I mean, anything can happen with Scotty. He can you know go yard on you any minute. But and, and you know. it's funny how it takes away the pressure of that hitter right when that run comes in on a ball you're like oh yeah. okay well we, yeah. we got it so because I, I don't yeah. i don't think he hit after that i think he popped it up yeah, yeah no he didn't yeah. yeah yeah that was the third out yeah wow oh so it's two outs i think it was two I, th outs. I think yeah, i think there was yeah. Yeah. oh wow yeah. you know i don't know if it was the wind but it could have been but i x has cold fingers well that's exactly what i was about yeah. to say you know your fingers get a little numb on a on a hot day maybe that doesn't happen and it's and it's kind of you know it you dry up a lot quicker with the cold yeah so i I'm, I'm imagine if you, you didn't have any lotion or anything like that i mean just yeah. sl it gets slick and just Slippery. slips right out yeah yeah i mean it just it just that's all it takes man and, it, yeah. and, and we so talked about what well, here's the pictures <laughs> doing this all the time you know they, it's not I, sanitary but. dude i remember i saw i saw who, that's, who the hell was it? it was bobby was behind the mound and some pitcher was doing that and it was, I think when, when COVID just first kicked oh, off, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like, hey, man, quit licking the fucking ball. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not putting nothing on it. He goes, I don't give a shit. Like, it's sanit not sanitized. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not that weird. And what's weird to me is like Pug or whatever, however you pronounce his name, that guy. Oh, Pug, like, yeah. Yeah. Pug, yeah. yeah Pug, yeah. Like, nah, don't do that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was, that, that was, he was so a little weird. out there. He was a little but, but But the thing is, is pictures have always, um, you know, licked their fingers, you know, whatever. But quarterbacks well, I mean, but but here's the thing though ball. yeah yeah but the thing is is we, we just had just kicked off with covid so or you know going through it and uh at the beginning of it anyways and then so it's like hey come on man like you're not supposed to be doing this shit so but it just it was it just make, became more noticeable right yeah. before it was just a part of the game you just saw it and it is what it is so but you know it's it's you know what you know if anybody didn't watch the game you know it was um a bottom uh, top of the ninth right you got a man on third pitchers on the mound and um he drops the ball right and right right you know and cut they call yeah. a buck yeah. and and walks the it was, at that time it was two to two walked in the go ahead run in the top of the ninth yeah. you know so it, it it definitely changed the game the game could have gone into extra innings to, you know yeah. who knows you know i mean it, you just don't know what's going to happen it was but that it, close of a game i mean it could have gone either way um of course i'm gonna say we went extra innings i think we would have won but um we had the better pitching at the end so we had a better shot and uh yeah because cobble came in right to close it it's cobble 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 you know those kinds of games where it's just not a whole lot of offense right and you're neck and neck yeah it really comes down to who's going to make the least amount of mistakes 
and, really did. Yeah, and that it's yeah. that's always the case, and that's you know pretty much what happened with you guys. And that's what Armando said earlier. You know, that, that's what a championship game should be like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean that close like that. No. Uh, Tim Tim says uh, Tim says it was uh, it was one out. Tim said it was one out. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and and then uh, Pete says that uh, the box started the 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 Cyclones comeback versus the Padres, so it seems like uh, just it Good was. Good omen, right, Pete? <laughs> well, so let, let let's think, let's look at that, right? So, uh, first team gets disqualified, <laughs> right? Second team shows up with eight players, and then the box gets you the go ahead run. <laughs> the gods were in his favor, bro. You know, when things are going your way, they. <laughs> I They're going to keep going your way. Sometimes better. Well, I'll take being lucky over being good any day. All right. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, you got the championship, right? Yeah. That's that's what matters. And and, and uh, what's up, Cameron? Um, well, you but, could talk about how, you know, last year it, you were put in a bad situation. Big time. You know? Big time. So it, 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 even though, right? You talk about the baseball guys, it, it kind of balances out. Yeah, because I, I think so. I, I still stick to my, my thing last season that, that you're yeah, right. Good, good, good point, yeah. Cody, that I feel like you had – I know you felt you could handle the doubleheader, and I'm not saying your team can or nothing, but I just feel like it puts you under pressure because now you got two, two games in one day where you really want a fresh start to your yeah. all your everybody, like all your hitters, everybody. You want a fresh start, and no matter what you are, you, you know it's like a, like your phone, right? Like you, you were at 100 on the first one, but you might be 80, 70 percent on the second game. Sure. You okay. know, so I very just easily. very easily. So being a championship game, you got to make sure you're on point. Yeah. So I just I felt like. That you're right, it evened out, and, and it wasn't just happen chance that you were, were playing a double header. It was because of somebody's actions that forced you into a double header. Yeah. So it's like, well, this just doesn't seem fair, you know. Yeah, I mean, looking back into it, I, was, I, I, you know, I wish maybe we would have just split up the days and yeah. have a yeah. double header. Yeah, I think that would have been that would have been good. Um, but. It's all part of the experience, and it's all part of, uh, of the journey. I was just thinking about it. You know, it's been three seasons in with it was NABA now, HBA. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the first season we came in, everybody was just like, oh, these guys, these guys, uh, you know, they're, they're good or whatever. We we didn't feel like we were better than anybody else. I mean, we came in with an open mind and we're like, hey, we're going to – what we're used to, yeah. you know, playing AAA. Yeah. And we never played with those bats before, so that was a learning curve or – getting used to curve if you will experience and um, then this next and and we make the playoffs loss then next season we get to the <laughs> championship um and it's just weird things happen all, all along the way and and you, you kind of find the right chemistry and i think that's what ended up happening this season we found the right uh things that and put them together yeah if you will and um it's just not one person uh kind of deal it's a complete team, mm -hmm. you know, from coaching myself and Tony um, to, you know, the, the players on the field, the infield, the outfield, it was just solid all around. I mean, um, was it all the best players I have, all the, the best talent? Uh, no, not, not this season, but I had all the best, the right team members. Right, on the the team. right puzzle, yeah. right piece right. of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, to me, now I realize that that's more important than anything. Yeah, and you had the experience of, of going to the playoffs, to the yeah. championship game, right? So correct me if I'm wrong, but in those three seasons, your first two seasons, you had better records than I you did. did this last one, right? You guys yeah. kind of struggled a little out of the and, gate. And maybe a little better talent, too. Yeah. To be honest with you, and um, it's just so funny how that works out. You know? I, I know, right? Look, look at us, right? Ten yeah. and one, we can't win a playoff game, right? And <laughs> yeah, then I think you guys were like undefeated, right? The first season, yeah, yeah, well, almost. Yeah. And it's like, well, none of that helps you unless you, you know, it doesn't, man. You, you bring that into the playoffs. Right? It doesn't mean anything, man. Yeah. It just, it, at the end of the day, anybody can beat anybody. Right. I mean, we we've seen too many times, and I've seen it in all the leagues. You know, you all the leagues throughout the Houston Coastal, everybody. You're like, oh, that if you're gonna predict, oh, I think this team's gonna win, and then like, oh shit, that team won. Like, how many times have we been in this show and go, I'm like, Cody, who won? And yeah. like, yeah, this person was like, wow, I didn't, I didn't expect that. I wonder what happened there. Yeah. So it's it's it's. But I think, there is an advantage of because you continue to go to the playoffs, right? And you continue to be in that environment, and yeah. you're gonna do better the more yeah. you do it. And if you don't, then there's something's wrong. You know? uh, right. Uh, yeah. You're not looking at the right things. Yeah. On your team. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, because yeah, this was the third time you did the uh, 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 playoffs. Yeah, third time in a row here in this this league. And, and second, second championship um, game. Championship, so, yeah. championship trips, one out of two. Yeah, that's good, man. <laughs> 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 no, that's good, man. I mean, you guys, you guys definitely had the the. You guys definitely had the the like you said the right chemistry, the right people, and it just it just rolled on you, man. I mean, <laughs> when I when I made the comment about the double hitter, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> double hitter excuse again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to take nothing away from Pelicans, man. Pelicans kicked ass, but um, yeah. but it was it was um. Yeah, I, I think it was a great game. Is there anything that you would have done different during the game? This the championship. Game? Yeah, I, mean, I know you want, but I mean, is there anything like, hey, I would have done something? I mean, just on the based on the circumstances we were in, I, I don't think so. I think we we damn near played a perfect game. Yeah. Uh, as a team, um, yeah. I I don't I don't I don't I wouldn't change anything. Gotcha. I mean, Did was was that your plan? The way you told I me mean, everything. Every, Everything that you did that day, was that the plan that you had going into it? So, like I said, it's a team or, you know, group effort. Um, you know, the uh, the lineup, we had already c came into this game from the previous game, uh, kind of having a good idea what we wanted to do. Because um, we liked the way it worked out last game as well. So, and we faced him before. We, we knew he was going to be a lefty throwing at us. So, we prepared for that. And we... We made some minor adjustments. Tony put it together, showed it to me, and I'm like, heck yeah, man, that looks solid. And uh, that's what we rolled with. And Well, I got to say, you guys did a really good job against Tim. You know, normally, yeah. you know, he's going to throw 100, 120 pitches in a game easily. Yeah. Um, and he's going he's gonna to strike out a lot. Yeah. Using yeah. the double digits. Dude, he only, he only out struck you guys out three times. Yeah, three times. Uh, that's that's good, man. Yeah. Uh, no walks, but that just tells you right there. You you just putting it in play, and you know yeah. that's what you got to do. How many hits did they get? Actually, did they got out hit by the Redbirds five to four. Oh really? And actually, I think it's more than that because you remember when Tim Jones he bunted. Yeah, that was an awesome bunt, by the way. God, it, it doesn't Tim show that he shit, has bro. a hit. It doesn't show he has a hit, and I think that was a hit. That was a hit. Yeah, so because it, it shows him as hitless. It was like a dude. It was like a hard ass yeah. freaking bunt. Yeah, it, it, it was flew well placed. out to pass like uh, right up next to Mario. Yeah, Chris is a really good. Uh, I mean, he's a great pitcher, yeah. but I think he's an even better defensive infielder. I agree. Like shortstop. Yeah, I agree. And he couldn't field the ball. Yeah, like it went right by him, and he was like chasing, running after. You see the video replay. He's He's, running after yeah. the ball, I mean, there's just no way he can get it to it. Yeah. And Mario's like, God, I got to get to third, and he goes back. And by the time he gets it, everybody's yeah. safe. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Was... So I, I, I would have scored that a hit, but it's not a hit under Tim. So, um, you yeah, could say they out. Hit, Tim. Yeah, you could say they out hit you six to four. I mean, uh, Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know, in... any Redbirds in here? I don't know, man. I don't know if they want to. Probably not. <laughs> I I wouldn't expect it, man. I wouldn't expect it. But you know, it's it's a uh... only one extra base hit too. If we're talking stats, okay, man. You know, hot shots. <laughs> uh, no hot shots. Uh, Marlon's been making a lot of noise on social media, man. Y'all better be good this next season, bro. <laughs> yeah, I heard you guys got a new third baseman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think. Um, you know, and and that's what it is, and that's and that's the thing with the league has gone. It's grown, right? I mean, you got people just coming in, going, "Hey, I got to come in, bring in the good players, and bring a good team to to the league." Um, it's definitely not the inaugural season we had. You no, know, of course not. It's, it's day and night. <laughs> it's day and night because we, we you, we don't, just, you don't type your name and just get on the team anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bet you feel that's how it was when it started. You know, it's like just sign up and okay, go to this team. Kind of like the 365. Hard, yeah, 365. hardball 365. Yeah. 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 But it, it, I mean, it was bad. It was better than that. The quality, because yeah. there was like we were a team from another league, right? right? So you know, we weren't really picking up everybody we could get or any and everyone, maybe a couple guys. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were a team. That's why I think we did well in the yeah. first season. Yeah. But after that, it just it just blew up. It did, man. It it really did. So I I think that's uh. 
that you know that, that's good. And I mean, and, and but that's that's crazy thing. There's baseball everywhere. I mean, you got you know all the, all the leagues just blown up. I mean, there's people on you know Obrera, of course picked up again after COVID, and and uh, you know you got Coastal. They just finished their fall tournament out there. Uh, you know, shout out to the Austin Bullies out there. They they took that tournament, um, which I was kind of confused because when I saw a fall tournament, I Team th- USA. Yeah, Team USA, yeah. and he he's actually gonna we're gonna uh, he's gonna call in um, here in a little bit, um, but I was I I didn't understand. I was like fall tournament. I was like, oh, did they mean did they meant fall playoffs? Was like like that what they meant? And no, it was like a separate tournament. Like there was there was the regular season, and then it was just a random. Not to say random, but it was just a fall tournament. So. They won that tournament, which you know turned out to be pretty good. So and yeah, where was this? Coastal. Okay, all right. Yeah, Coastal. The the Austin Bullies, which like he says is basically Team USA. Yeah. Um. So they're good. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, then they'll show everybody. Or... Yeah. I mean, hopefully they they, they come in, you know, in, in the in the classic and, and do their thing. You know, I mean, that's uh, you know, they're coming from Austin, so you know, it's. They come it's out here to get. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's some guys that won't even drive half an hour, 45 yeah. minutes to a fucking game. These motherfuckers come for like three hours, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'm not going to drive three hours to get my ass full. <laughs> no I think we did. <laughs> we, we've, traveled, ass right home. Hey, we've traveled many hours yeah. <laughs> and many miles to get our ass whooped. So. Well, we went to, uh, uh, we went to uh, uh, Austin for a uh, the Lone Star tournament. Lone yeah. Star something or other yeah i don't yeah don't right. start something yeah, yeah for yeah. hho yeah yeah and uh it was a sunday night game i think yeah because that By following Monday was, was the, holiday, the yeah. holiday yeah and they brought in some ringer like we we were doing decent and while we won that game and we were in the championship game they brought in some ringer and it Do just shut shit. us down yeah and we were so pissed off like We've we had our ho- of that before. <laughs> we had our hotel another night we're like no screw this we're driving back to houston <laughs> this, I'm out. yeah dumb. i'm out man yeah. so but you know so that's that's definitely some dedication but you know baseball has just grown man and i mean uh just you can play wherever you want to play man and do what you got to do man i mean you yeah. got people playing in multi leagues are you gonna you're gonna still stick to uh are you gonna venture out like the hot shots into other leagues or just stay with you know hba saturdays man i i think we're just gonna stay here i mean if anything, maybe have two teams, but I don't know. Dang, two teams? Maybe, yeah. How are you going right. to play each other, huh? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> or are you talking about Sunday, maybe? Something oh, is that what you're talking about? The bandits? You can take over the bandits? <laughs> <laughs> they got to merge? Oh. <laughs> well, some players. No. <laughs> no, oh. it's just, it, it, we're, we're good the way we are. I mean, it's working. And, uh, I'm you know, it's been such a good learning experience. I mean, I barely just feel like uh, we're getting the, to the beginning of what this new era is about to start uh, coming in. So we're pretty excited. I mean, I I think we we kind of figured out a lot of things and now we feel even more confident and we're looking forward to next season. He's ready to turn the page. He is, man. He's uh, what's up with Frank? Frank, is he okay? He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah. He's been, uh, he just had a baby boy. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Frank Frank. Frank the tank and Stacia. Congratulations guys. Um, you know, they're they're part of our family. You know, they're um, he's uh, definitely very dearly missed. We're a different team with him. Yeah. So yeah, we we uh, looking forward to getting him back healthy. Yeah, he's yeah, been, uh, for sure. Past this season, pretty much with wrist. with his wrist, which makes it obviously yeah. a difference for a hitter, right? I mean, you got to have your wrist. Um, when I seen him in the um, home run derby last season, I mean, he was hitting them up like nothing. Like, yeah, I mean, it's like a video game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Though. Yeah, I mean, he used to swing so harder. I mean, whenever his wrist didn't hurt. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, he was swing out of his shoes. Yeah, yeah, it's, for sure. And, and and you know, in the home run derby, it gets tiring, right? You got to keep hitting more and more and more. And you know, like we were talking about, you know, Jimmy the Legend, right? Like Jimmy can hit him like no problem. And Jimmy, he was getting gas. He was, he was getting like, gas. bro, I couldn't catch up to him. Yeah, and he told me that. I was like, damn, dude. Yeah, I mean, he he's was not even healthy, bro. He's yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and I, I honestly think that uh, Frank could have kept going. Like, I think he could have had more. Like, you know, he but, did because he hit those like in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like he still yeah. had time on the clock. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> and, he didn't need to do any more, so he's like, all right, that's it. Yeah, see, yeah. that's all I need is just that one. Get that one, and that's it. <laughs> and I, yeah. it, I think that one went the furthest. I think that one actually went over that little shed. Oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> 
But n- none went further than the one uh, he hit off a of Cheeto. Because oh, <laughs> I was R. out there R. shagging, P. that's why I know. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. to that ball, man. Yeah, yeah that, that was that was a good hit. So that's, I mean, and, and that's that says something good about your team, right? I mean, you didn't have all your, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say all stars, but all your key players. Uh, yeah. You know, some of your, some of your key players, I guess I should say. And uh, you still were able to pull out the the, the you know the championship. That's so what they say you know good teams find a way to win, and we we did what we had to do. People uh, players stepped up, um, and they played solid. Man, I mean, yeah. it was a great championship game. So proud of them. Um, yeah, can't say enough. Yeah, it was, it was a badass game. It's it was, funny. This is the uh, this is the season of the Cyclones. Yeah. We, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Cyclones one Friday, Cyclones yeah. on Saturday. All right. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I was I was laughing. I was like, and it was funny. I never had thought about that though. He said that uh, earlier. He said earlier. He's like, yeah, Cyclones. I'm like, oh, that's true, man. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, of course, shout out to you know X. He's a two-time champion. He won on Friday. Two-time Cyclone. Two-time Cyclone. Right. He won on Friday X. and Saturday. That's yeah. My boy, man. Yeah. X is in here too. So. Yeah, that's funny. X. Uh, he uh, after. The last game, last playoff game, you know, we always have a little gathering and we talk. And he he said something to me that it just it just I don't know it it meant the world to me. I mean, he said, you know, out of all the teams I play on, I'm sorry to put everybody on blast, but he's like, I really love being with, on y'all's team. I really love being on with the Cyclones, man. This is just a different type of atmosphere. Um, I don't know what he said exactly, but it, it just him saying that he was happy. And that he liked the camaraderie, he liked the team vibe, you know that that's. I was like, man, everything's just going right, you know. Everybody's getting along, the chemistry's right, um, you know. It just tells me I'm doing what I, you know, the right things, the right moves. We're all of us are doing the right things, and it was very rewarding to you know hear players say they're happy to be on your team. Well, that's pretty good. you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. No. You're welcome, X Pirate, right there. <laughs> yeah, um, dude. You know, and and uh, you know, and 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 um, X is a X is a good ball player. I mean, yeah, he, he yeah. let off with a hit, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... yeah, he was sending me. You know, he he was putting in work all week. He's like, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Um, and you know, it showed. I mean, everybody was was ready. Yeah, and, uh, mentally and you know, it's funny because he uh he he hit Tim. That uh, playoff game that we had, he did. He, dude. he, double sta- off of it. he yeah. did start yeah. it off. He started off too like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, when he when he did that in that playoff game, I thought, all right, man, this yeah. is like this is this is a good omen right here. Like yeah. like you started it off, you set the tone. So he's definitely knows he's a, he's an exciting exciting player. Um, and you know it's it's uh, definitely a player that that that's explosive. That's gonna it's kind of a game changer. You know he's gonna do what he needs to do to get the job done and, and uh, you know, uh, around the bases, hitting. I mean, he's just a solid hitter, and he knows how to take a walk, too. So he's definitely a good leadoff hitter. But, you know, the other thing, too, is like um, – You know, maybe he'll go three with the uh, Panthers. That would be right? – man, that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting if he did go with the, the Panthers. X, the X factor. Yeah. Because I think they're sitting in second place right now. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were just shy last season. I yeah. mean, it wasn't yeah. – it wasn't it wasn't too far off, yeah. you know. Um. But the chemistry does help, you know. And then uh, it looks like, uh, you know, we got Chris in the chat too, or he's used unless he's sitting right next to uh, JJ there. But uh, yeah, and uh, but you know, factor Chris. Chris, you know, what I'm saying he came through. That was a good pickup in the season. On waivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what does that That's mean? That's how you do it, right? So what would you have to do? What does that mean? That means that nobody picked him up. He was just a free agent, pretty much, just chilling there. Oh man, that's crazy. And um, didn't have to sacrifice any kind of no I mean, uh, first round picks. I mean, I think we had to trade off. Not playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was literally like X was like, "Hey man, let's pick up C Mac." Like, I know he's down, and um, you know, I think he'll be a good good addition. I'm like, man. Who is that guy? He's like, he played with the Colt 45s. I'm like, okay, I remember him. Yeah. I remember talking to him, and I remember facing – he's like the first uh, game of the season, the first inaugural season for us Yeah. here with HBA. And uh, I was like, damn, this, I seen him pitch in Orbeta as well. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, man, you did good. You know, we won that game, and uh, but he, he gave us a good fight. And I don't know why. I just – I was heading back in my mind. I'm mm-hmm. like, man, that guy will be a good – person to pick up one day and you know that helps when you're the only one 
that knows he's in free agency. Right? No, no, no. Here's yeah. the thing. I, 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 I knew he was gonna leave the 45s, and I, I kind of said something to him like, "Hey, man, if you ever leave, come over here." But, you know, he's been playing with, uh, he's been knowing, you know, X for a long time. Like, there's no, you know, there's no way he's gonna pick me over, over X. So that's why it was, it was a great pickup, and it yeah. worked out good. And that, that's the thing with, with when you have good ball players, you attract good ball players, right? right. You know, so it, it, it definitely um, helps to have that people who get out there be social butterflies no different people no good players you know you know the funny thing is that we picked him up to be a catcher <laughs> yeah really we picked him up to be a catcher um we we were just hurting there uh we had a, a, a you know uh daniel he was helping us out i mean and he was just doing his job he's like hey man there's a problem and i want, I want to fix it for you i want to help and so he, you know hats off to him i really appreciate him coming through it some get you know most of the games this season and filling in but we were hurting and so he's like hey man x tells me chris will probably be a better catcher for you um and he'll help us out you know he's pretty good defensively he has a good glove and so he comes on he catches uh he does well and i'm like hey man um you can pitch too he's like yeah man that's what i do I'm like all right we'll, t- we'll we'll try you out we'll try you out and man he was like lights out yeah he was he did a great job. Then I was like, hey, can you play shortstop? He's all like, yeah, I play third too. And lights out. I mean, he's a second base. I mean, infield. I mean, he's he's a really, really, a really good player all around. Uh, even better pitcher. Um, yeah, he, so hats off to him. Um, came in the last four games of the season to qualify for the playoffs. Uh, he missed the round one because he had a, a disc golf tournament. Uh, so I was like pretty bummed about that, but you ended up, you know, getting through the Avengers. He's got to stay from his brother. Can I stay away from his brother JJ over there? Fucking disc golf <laughs> tournaments and shit. Yeah, so they're sponsored uh, disc golf players. So yeah, no, um, that's crazy, bro. That's like, crazy. dude, it's it it's that's you different. know. Just, like, yeah, I know his brother. We played. We played on together, and he, his brother's good too. Like I said, he's kind of like a like an X factor, right? Like same thing. Like you got mm-hmm. those two guys on the same team, and uh, you know, when he went towards the disc golf world it kind of threw me off a little bit because he's a good ball player i felt like it was a waste of talent but you know when you're a natural athlete you're going to be good at whatever the hell you yeah. you know put your mind to whatever so i'm glad he's doing good but man now he's dragging your one of your players over yeah. there it's like hey man don't hang out with your brother anymore it's all good i mean like like we're going back to talking about the chemistry i, I think he feels like he he wants to come back himself and play when he can um of course he's not going to be there all season but i think he wants to stick around um and then another uh, the, the person that came in and, and saved the day was, you know, uh, Austin Kobo. Uh, he came in and uh, a lot, some people, I guess, didn't know, but he just fractured his damn chest bone, shoulder bone over here. It, and it, it would require surgery. I think it's optional kind of find out. But, um, you know, he paid. I know he, he was still kind of sore and in pain maybe a little bit, but he rested for four weeks and he's like, I have to play, you know, pretty much looked me right in the eyes. He's like, I need to play. Uh, I kept telling everybody he's ready. And we all just look kind of looking at each other like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I even asked him bluntly. I'm like, are you 100%? And he's like, yes. I'm like, okay, that's a lie. You just you just <laughs> broke a bone. <laughs> you fractured a bone like four weeks ago, bro. Oh, man. And, uh, well, you're probably glad and, he said that, right? Yeah, because yeah. you give him the ninth and... Dude, he oh he came his, in the ninth. Yeah. I know. I know he got switched out. I just didn't know when. He closed it out. Um, think eighth. He, or oh, was it the eighth? Uh, I think it was three innings. I think. Oh, he did. oh seventh. Okay. Yeah. He's seven or eight. See, somebody will say it right now. Oh yeah. Two and. Well, it says two and a third. So. Either way, uh. They're saying Tim LeComp too did his thing. That's what they're saying. Is that true, Jose? Tim at first, bro. I'm telling you, everybody. He he didn't up. give up any hits. He had two strikeouts and didn't give up a hit. That's what I saw. Yeah. No, Cobo. Yeah, you Cobble. see them pictures, the highlights of the game, and most of them were freaking Tim. Like he was all over the place. Like just yeah, he turned into an animal. Is like, he is he is he normally a or a natural first baseman or he just that's where you put him? That's his first time playing first base. No shit. This season in the championship game, yeah. <laughs> Like it's crazy. And you know, I noticed you had X at first against the Padres. Well, that was the game plan going in, uh-huh. you know, having uh Tim play second and X first because uh 
X can play first. Yeah. You know, he, he 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 calls that precision. He's like, yeah, man, I can play first. I think he used to play first somewhere. I don't know for a team organized ball. I've never seen him play first. Really? <laughs> but you know, we we know I haven't yeah. always played with each other. You know, I've always known X as a, as an outfielder. Uh, you know, in, um. Uh, middle he's infielder, a good too. yeah, middle infielder, and I've, he's caught for me too. Yeah. Um, I mean, the guy can play it all. I mean, I'm not surprised that he can play first, but I just I never see him play first. So, then, do you have a hole at first? Well, to, if you're Frank's trying our first things? base, Frank oh, and okay. Scotty. All right. Uh, but since our catcher Tony, you know, didn't play, you know, wasn't eligible for this the playoffs. He, you know, we had to put Scotty there, um, and then because and it's, Scotty's a really good first baseman, mm -hmm. uh, Scotty and Frank. But since he had to catch and Frank's not eligible to play with the playoffs, then we were going to put X. But last minute, uh, Tim mentioned, hey, we need a little bit more range. I'd rather him, you know, cover second, and I'll just be at first. Yeah. He's like, you got it? He's like, yeah. And he's been coaching his son to play first anyway in uh, select ball. He coaches a select ball team. So, you know, that came, gave me a little bit of confidence in him um, and, and, his, and his brother as well, Tony. Because he's the, the guy, you know, he helps coach the team and everything. Yeah. You know, you uh, mentioned range, and you, you don't want to take away from a player who has good range, you know, by putting them in a position where right. they won't be able to, to show that off. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what we did, and it just – everything worked out great. Uh, Orasi, of course, played damn near perfect, if not perfect, shortstop, scooping everything up. Uh, I don't think he had an, even an error. You guys didn't have an error in the game. And the Redbirds had five. Oh, shit. Five? Yeah. Wow. Including the ball. Mario. Mario, third baseman, man. It's funny, man. I want to say a story about Mario. So, you know, uh, the, talking about experience at the beginning of the show, uh, the whole, uh, you know, uh, journey, you know, walk, going to, go, playing through Sunday ball or Saturday ball, COVID, pushed us to venture out into things, different things, right? So we ventured out to HBA. And then after that season, uh, there was a uh, county park league opened up called La Liga. And uh, one of my good friends uh, and, and my dad's really good friend went there, which is uh, the guy that runs the veteran league in Obrera, Tony Sanchez. Yeah, Tony, that's, that's Juan's father, right? Juan's dad, yeah. yeah. So... He went over there and he's like, "Hey, we're gonna have it." I'm like, "Man, I don't have a. It's a 35 and up league. I'm like, I don't really have anybody uh, that many 35 years old uh, players to go. But you know, yeah, I'll go open a team over there. You know, just yeah. open my. I want to help out Tony. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, they just wanted to also see what's out there, pick up new players and see right. talent. And out of that league came Mario. No oh, shit. Uh, the Spaniard brought Mario to the game. <sighs> And I was checking them out, so that's when I ended up getting the Spiny and Mario. And then Mario pulled a couple of players to, put, to help us out throughout the season. But, you know, after the, the season with us all together, I, you know, I realized, you know, Mario fed well with the chemistry yeah. of the team. And, uh, man, he's like our, our big brother, man. We love him, man. He's uh, He gets the team riled up. He gets uh, fired up. And he played excellent at third base. Uh, no errors, was scooping everything up, throwing it, and he was, of course he hits like a, yeah he uh, goes he goes the other way well yeah yeah so and we protect them so you, you can't get around him you're gonna you, you know you gotta you gotta really get through yeah we we had him on the uh, Marauders right Marauders mm -hmm. yeah yeah Mar Marauders a good good teammate man and he's yeah. a good ball player um like you said good around all around guy and shit so i, I definitely I, I, and it's funny because that's what i think that uh, some people realize when you play baseball all around houston you make these connections i mean i've yeah. i've i've picked up you know it's not just d bats but i've been, met people at d bats i met people on other teams like hey i want to go yeah. play and you, you know get out there <laughs> get out there man yeah it, i mean no yeah. it's, it's it's really true and, and that's how you put these teams together you get know get around people can get around <laughs> 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 well, which by the way i i think uh i don't know if uh I just make it official, but uh, uh, Jordan wants us to be Gulf Coast Indians next season. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He man, goes, I'll start calling Jordan the, the tow truck, man. He picks everybody. Right, up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the Gulf Coast hot shots. I mean, he picked up all, all yeah, the hot shots. Oh, does, he, does he still have the Cleveland Indian logo? 
Yes. How do you it, feel about that? I, I like that. Oh, do you? Yes, he does. Uh, Chief Wahoo, you kidding yes. me? Yeah. I mean, I'm disappointed he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if we can find hats like that anymore, right? I mean, they're gone, right? They, I'm going to rely on him. He, better, he has to have a source. Right, the collector's item, you know, but... Uh, you know, it's um. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad it worked out for you, man. I'm yeah. glad everybody, you know, put the thing together. And it's and it's interesting that you had a first, you know, uh, Tim that wasn't a first baseman. A decision right there, and it didn't. It worked out great. I mean, he made diving catches. He, I mean, he was because he made one on the foul, like the yeah, foul, right? Man. Yeah, I saw yeah, that, dude. Yeah, that, uh, was that, crazy. that was an inning ending, I believe. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah, yeah. Out. Yeah, I saw Whenever that, dude. That, I, I remember just screaming, "That's how you fucking play in a championship game." <laughs> you gotta, you gotta lay it all on the line, yeah. And, and I'm sure with the fucking wind, I'm sure it moved the shit out of that fucking ball. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, but I, I did see that play. But that's that's the energy that that um that that uh, championship brings you know brings the people man i mean you know you got to bring that that extra energy i mean you know that, like when cobble's like hey you know yeah i want to go in there like yeah of course of course he does i mean he's a he's a, he's an athlete he's a, right. you know he wants to compete and yeah. he doesn't want to let the team down and you know uh he pitched three innings is what uh tim said so i think that um you know right about you know seventh is a good time to yeah. you know kind of start looking at your picture like hey what's going on uh of course a lot of pitchers go you know all yeah. nine but T t that's about the time when you start to kind of look at your pitch and going, hey, he's already at the pitch count. They've already seen him you know, a certain yeah, amount of time. Yeah, I was time. already looking ahead. Like, I knew we had seven, eight, nine coming up. Yeah. And so I was like, we got to score. We have to score. And I was just thinking that, thinking that, and all of a sudden he drops the ball. I'm like, that's a ball. Yeah. And everybody's, that's a ball. That's a ball. And uh, I was like, Lee. You, I like our you, chances now. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you'll take it any way you can get yeah. it, but you, you just feel bad for, you know, for for that yeah. that's just not how you want to do it but hey you'll take it well yeah i mean and, and that's that's what it comes down to because you know it's the same thing like i'm gonna keep repeating whoever whoever makes the most mistakes and then the other team capitalizes that's who's gonna win right yeah yeah you know if you keep the, the mistakes down i mean tim just jumped on and kind of you know echoed that same thing well, yeah like, what we talked about yeah a the couple they kicked it around a little bit you know uh with the five errors and with the tight game Whoever makes the least amount of those is is usually going to come out on top. Yeah, usually yeah. going to come out on top, man. And and uh, and you, you know, know, speaking of fired up, Tim, when he when he put that bunt down and got on first, he he was fired up. And Jose, I I thought that that you guys were in trouble when that happened. When Tim put that bunt down and got on first, and they had bases me? loaded. You're telling me, yeah. <laughs> like I was like, wow, that was you couldn't do anything about that. It was a perfect freaking bunt. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was like, shit. What do you do? Yeah, and you know I mean, now that Tim's on, uh, Tim is on. That ass bunt, Tim. By the way. Yeah, but Tim, I don't see a hit on your stats. Yeah, damn. you need to talk to so Stu. I, I don't know what's up with that. Damn, Stu didn't that give was you that a bunt. damn hit. Yeah, for damn. sure. Well, wait, <laughs> it's wait, a hit all wait, day long. Well, who loaded the game, you or, or Stewart? Stewart. Well, who was doing the book? You know, because usually he doesn't do it during the game. Like he had yeah, somebody. He had somebody there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Damn, they didn't give him the hit, dude. Yeah, Batty, Batty went that, right? <laughs> rough crowd. Rough, uh, you Scorpio. know, that was a good move by Stewart, too, because Ray was coming up, and Ray, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Stewart pinched hit Tim for, for Ray and we just knew to he put a bunt down. We were yeah. ready for him. Yeah. We yeah. knew he was going to bunt. Yeah. We're like, okay, he just pinch hit, uh, uh, you know, Tim, he's going to bunt. You know, because yeah. he's not pinching him to hit a home run. Yeah. You know, he's. So he comes in, we're like, it's a bunt, it's a bunt, get ready. And, I mean, you couldn't have hit it better. Yeah. I mean. Can't get ready for that shit. one. Unless Mario comes away in, right? Yeah. But it's like, well, you know, if it comes back to the pitcher, someone, you know, you want to get that lead runner. Yeah, man. I mean, that's, that's, it's, I mean, good for him. But, like, he's just, he just said right now, he goes, I'd rather have a W than a hit, though. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and I'm sure he does, man. I'm sure he does. I mean, it was a hell of a. Yeah, and he did have a blister, too. Though. Yeah, that, that blister, I mean, as a pitcher, man, it's just. It's it's uh not gonna you you grip you know gets all fucked and he, up and he knew we we knew that too I mean I told him so that's why he I threw it happen that's why he threw ninety one pitches instead of one forty <laughs> yeah I mean the previous game I saw it happening I'm like and I asked him about it after the game I'm sure he remembers and he's like yeah but I'll be all right by next game I'm like I don't know <laughs> and he goes in there gets inside scoop <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I already told the guys hey you know and so they started we, we were watching um things that he can and can't do and I yeah mean, we picked up on it yeah so. i mean it's it's um i remember one time uh so when you know a few seasons ago uh we, you know because we sometimes play together on the cyclone sunday 
And people are like, hey, man, so, you know, how's Tim? You know, what, what's his name? I said, does it matter what I tell you? Because he's yeah, still not going to fucking hit it. you're not going to touch him. Yeah, you're not going to touch him. Like, it doesn't fucking matter what I yeah. tell you. Like, he's just not going to touch it, dude. It's just like, just fucking it's hope nasty. that. Yeah, you know, just hope that you get it where you think it's going to yeah. be. And then you'll be able to put a piece on it. So, um, but, you know, he, he's, um, he's like Cobble, right? Like, I mean, he's a, he's, he's, he's a fierce competitor. Yeah, he had the blister. He's fighting the blister, but he's going to continue. He's going to continue to go through it and do what he's got to do to to help his team get the W, man. And, and it just, it just um, like with the five errors, I mean, that's a lot. That's really a lot. I don't, I don't, I, I that might be like a season high, I think, for the Redbirds. Could man. be. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. they just don't have that many errors, you yeah. know? Yeah. I remember watching, well, you, there was one at shortstop. You put pressure on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Things yeah. happen. I mean, I, yeah, that shortstop hit I me. Mean, he threw the, it wide. Should, yeah, right? yeah. I don't know. Well, then there's one that, I think it was the ninth where when you guys scored the shortstop, he he bobbled it and didn't make the throw to yeah. first. That would yeah. have been three outs. Yeah. But instead, you get a, a guy on third, and that's when the balk happens. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, I mean, when you extend those innings and you capitalize. You know, we were talking about the pitcher, the catcher, the infielder. I need to talk about the outfielders too, you know, Cody, Chris. <laughs> Chris Lacombe, Cody Lacombe, and uh, Isaac Rivera, man, they uh, they played really well out there. Um, of course, the balls were dying down. Well, <laughs> like I said, there so wasn't a whole lot of easier or, or harder. I don't know. Yeah, there wasn't but, a whole lot of you know hits. I mean, yeah. but they were hitting the ball. But there was there was a lot of outs. You know, a lot yeah. of three up, th th three down. So, like I said, only one extra base hit yeah. by Elijah. That's that's yeah. that's, that's amazing, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I saw that one too. Cause I, I was watching the game. I think yesterday, while I was working, I was trying to like look and work and shit, and uh, just catching. Like when I hear excitement, oh shit, let me look over there. But there wasn't really a lot, a lot because it wasn't a right. lot of extra base hits. It was just like, hey, you got a single, you got a single. But that's some type of baseball, is, right? Just get the next guy going, just keep it going. Yeah. yeah. So it worked out I think good. Mario pushed the first RBI in, and then yeah, and Cody had one too. Cody had the second one, and then the third one was a balk. And uh, we got a base running stat too. What's that? It's a CS. <laughs> Juan is making fun of your cobble. Yeah, I think he said it again. <laughs> he keeps saying it, but I mean. Cobble. I said cobble, right? Not. It's cobble. Cobble. Oh, oh shit, man! I thought I was saying it right. It's cobble. one B. Cobble. Cobble is two B. <laughs> Apple cobbler. <laughs> Just remember the co, right? I'm not, dude. If I can't even say. Venezuela, like, right? Like Cody, just think I, of that, right? I can't say, <laughs> why they say you don't look like no pie? <laughs> I can't. If I can't say Venezuela, right? There's no fucking way I'm gonna say his name, right? Uh, shit, look, look how many games it took me to get uh, Liga Metropolitana, right, dude? It's, so it's just, yeah. it's, it's, uh, you know, speech is not my thing sometimes. Pronunciation, I guess. So. So no stolen bases. Uh, it looks like X had a caught stealing. Yeah, I saw that, man. Yeah. I mean, you he, know that was, was <laughs> and you know, to be fair, he did kind of stagger a little bit. Yeah. Uh, whenever he, he did, off the jump, a late jump. I, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say because when I was watching Cause the pictures, because he was out by mile on the yeah. pictures, man. Like, yeah. like when I saw the picture, I'm like, dude, like you're you're hosed, you know, which is which is weird because X is fast, right? So I was yeah. like, something must have happened. That was that was how much of a stagger he had or um, delay when yeah. he took off. I mean that that. And there is some sand on that field, you know. It, it's not like it hard is. dirt over at the Northland, you know. Sometimes you bog down in it. I mean, look at home plate. <laughs> it's a sand but, pit. I mean, I'm not, 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 I'm not going to take anything away from that catcher. No, I mean, no. no well, I mean, there's... the Redbirds did their job. I mean, I, I thought they played really well. They, they, yeah, they did make those mistakes, but uh, the errors. Um... I mean, they only had one stolen base. So, I mean, not that there was a whole lot of traffic, but, uh, you know, the running game was kept to a minimum. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're hitting good balls, but the wind played a good big yeah. factor in it because, you know, if you're you're depending on a long ball, that wasn't going to happen that game. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not not the <laughs> day. Not the day to go yard. No. Well, uh -huh. dude, and, and if you did, you're a fucking beast, right? Like you, there was you, a few that were pretty close. Tim had one. Orasio had one. I think. Um, you said. You said. Um, uh, Josh Booth had Josh a couple. Ball. I think he yeah. would have crushed absolutely. And they just died midfield. I was like, golly. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, man. Um, Can you imagine that shit? Yeah. 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 Was it was it raining? He said, Tim said it was wet from the rain. Was it was it rain previously or something? Uh, there was a couple Whoa. of spots where it sprinkled a little bit. You know, it wasn't well, it enough to do anything. Between 3 and 5 a.m. 
uh, the night before and uh, Bart did a great job preparing the, f the field for us um, yeah we got the you know like around 9 or 10 o'clock they were like hey the field's good fix it up when we got there I was like damn he really wow. did he fixed it up cleaned it really well so yeah they, they um like uh, Tim says they would say there would have been at least four or five bombs on a regular on a regular day so um, were there any unearned runs? That's what uh, Juan's asking. I don't think there were, huh? Or, well, I guess you can call the the bog, right? Uh, that's an unearned run, right? No, that's no. an earned run. Well, it depends on how the guy got to third. I don't remember. Um, oh, in the ninth? Yeah. yeah. Yes. He he got a hit, right? I want to. Yeah, I think he got a hit, and then actually, no, he doesn't have any hits. He has a walk. Uh, so he may have walked. See he scored. Eighth. He scored uh, both. He scored two runs. How do you get on base? A walk and an error, I imagine. Damn. Because right. he so it doesn't show a hit. Ninth. Uh, he got walked. Yeah. He got walked on the ninth. Okay. So. Yeah. And then, then that, I mean, because he got a fielder's choice um, in the fourth. And then he had to fly F7 and uh, or 5-3. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, he got on base twice. Yeah. The field of choice in the walk. If he legitimately got to third, you know, without any errors or whatever, then that's an earned run, the, the balk. And it's not an error. It was, yeah, and it was. But uh, the other ones, because the other ones are probably unearned. I think that's what Tim was saying. Yeah. It was it it went by so fast, man. Yeah, like, just, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I I, I couldn't I couldn't believe how fast it went. When I'm trying yeah. to keep when I'm trying to keep when I'm at my game going in between innings, I'm like, oh shit, this game's almost fucking over, man. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, you know, it's um, uh, it's one of those things where where uh, it's an effective game, right? I mean, you know, the yeah. game's going well. When, when, and that's why I wouldn't, I wouldn't have guessed five errors, but I guess there were some, you know, I guess the errors were kind of spread out, I guess, or mm -hmm. whatever. So, um, it worked out pretty good, but yeah, you know, it's just, just I was just fucking amazed because usually the championship games go for a while. I mean, because those are nine innings, right? And so they usually go the length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, I couldn't ask for a better. I mean, shit, man, it was close to the end. It could have gone either way. I mean, they played ahead. Even when those five errors, I think they were still. You know, no, well, they were right there. They were yeah. right there. I mean, yeah, you yeah. Couldn't tell they had five errors. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. You couldn't. I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, two, two to one game. You know, two zero game, two one game all the way through, and then they tied it up in the in the in the seventh or eighth or something like that, and then, yeah. you know, you guys go ahead with that run, man, and 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 they weren't able to execute the plays. You know, I mean, uh, get the hits that they needed right at the end, which usually they're pretty good. I mean. The, the the I'm gonna tell you playing the Red Bull Red Bridge as long as I've been playing against them, they're they're known to come back on the ninth, you know, like get yeah. their hits and and do what they got, you know, walk or get a hit or whatever they got to do to get on base. So well, they ha they certainly had their chance when they loaded the bases, like we talked about. Yeah, yeah. I think that w I think that was the eighth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's um, yeah, man. It's it's a uh, it's one of those things where it just you figure out and hey this this person that person whatever, whatever whoever makes it just those less mistakes man that's all it comes down to so um wow. anything anything else you want to put out there because we're gonna um whenever you're ready we can call uh the austin bullies coach he's ready to talk to us but i think uh we good with this game yeah yeah, yeah. um i think we beat it to death right anything yeah, else yeah. No, i just uh <laughs> want to you know you know shout out the red birds you know y'all did a great job it could have gone either way. Um, luck was on our side. I mean, it came down to that pretty much. Um, and, and not making more mistakes. It, 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 that's what it boiled down to. Whoever made the least yeah. Of mistakes. Yeah, I did. Um, so hats off to y'all, man. Keep your head up. Y'all are a great team. Uh, keep on building. I'm sure we, you know, we might see each other again next season. Well, not if the Marlins have something to do about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hype. I hope the hype yeah. is real. You gotta watch out. Yeah, so we were just talking about that. How it doesn't matter. You can have all the talent in the world, and <laughs> I the, agree, man. The hype is the easiest part, right? There's yeah. more to it than that, man. Oh, for sure, man. There's a lot uh, more. Uh, 
That's pretty wild. But yeah, great job all around and Cyclones, man. Love my boys. Excellent job. Very proud of y'all. Um, Tony, uh, damn best coach I ever had. <laughs> you know, he's been really uh, coming through for us. So yeah. And shout out to all the family members of the Cyclones. Thank you for putting up with us and letting us, letting us play ball on Saturdays. Yeah. Especially I mean, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. So, um, all right, so let me let me give a call to Joel here. He's uh, the Austin Bullies, uh, aka also the USA team for the Coastal League. Let's see what's going on here with him. And there's two USA teams, right? Yeah, but they're the regular USA team. <laughs> the, the Is there one and two? No, so they go USA South and then USA, and there's like a Mexico North and then just a Mexico, and there's a Cuba regular and there's a Cuba South. Right. So, hey. hey, Joel, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing good, buddy. Hey, I got you on the air. You got you got Cody, you got Ar me, Armando, and then we got Jose from uh, HBA Cyclones, man. How you doing today? I'm doing good. It's good to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah, hey, man. Up, man. Joe, good to have you on, man. How are, how are things? You guys, uh, you getting excited for January? We are. We are. We're definitely very excited. Thankful for the opportunity. The play, we've never been a part of anything like that, so so we're definitely excited for it. So, so tell me, uh, so you, you got a team in Austin. Um, how often are you guys playing down there? You, you got several leagues, or you, you just got a, a, a limited supply of games? So, so this is actually our first season playing together. Uh, Austin Bullies, we, we, we got together last year with the intent to play, you know, a couple, uh, a couple of leagues around Texas that we're trying to form, but they never actually happened. So we kind of, you know, let this hang in, they, they, you know, you know, they dangle that, you know, the, the season in front of us and we're ready to play, so we wouldn't commit anywhere else to play. We, they, were, they were dangling the season in front of us until eventually um, Jonathan Garza, the, the coach for the Houston Stealth, he's a buddy of mine. We played ball together years back. He, he mentioned the league uh, there at Coastal with Andrew Dunn. And he goes, man, why don't you call, call up, uh, Andrew Dunn and see if you guys can get into this ball, ball ball. And so... That's what we did. So this is actually our first season playing actual games um, as Austin Bullies. Oh wow! Okay, so it, is there? There's there not an organization uh, in Austin? There, there is. There is. Yeah, um, a lot of us uh, play here in Austin, but not not as the Bullies. We play like in separate teams. Um, and like I said, you know, the Austin Bullies. You know, our, our team owner uh, Kenny Land, he, he put a. Uh, an announcer that for some child, and we were going to try to play some, like I said, like some, some leagues that were out there in Texas. And so we actually got the squad together about a year ago, and eventually, you know, we trimmed off the bat a little bit. You know, some players got frustrated we never played, and they started leaving, and then eventually we were left with the core. So we actually got to find a play. The season here in Austin had already started, so we couldn't we couldn't join in in, in there with them anymore. So that's when we jumped in with uh, with Dunn because they were just about to start, and Austin was already about three, four games deep into the season already. What organization is that in Austin? It's the Austin Metro Baseball League. Austin Metro Baseball. Okay, so is there not a, a MSBL yeah. or or I mean, uh, an yeah. ABA? It's an, it, it's an MSBL league. Yeah, I oh, got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. I guess that's equivalent to Houston Hardball, yeah. even though they're part of the national organization. So what's it called again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aust Austin, Austin AML? AML, Austin Metropolitan League. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yes, exactly. What, uh, I'm, I'm curious. Where do you guys play? I, I lived in Austin for many years, so I'm, I'm curious so as to we, where you we, guys we play. Have a, yeah, we have a couple of fields that we play. So we play at the Down from Mason Field, which is uh, uh, downtown on the east side of Pulse Street. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that. okay. Um, yeah, so he, yeah, Houston Tulsa University uses that that baseball field, so we get to use it also as well. Oh, that's, and that's then we a good field. Use, yeah, it's, it's a very good field. Um, um, Mike Lucas, he's the uh, the commissioner of the league, and he does all the field maintenance on it all the time. So he always uh, puts in the work and, and puts the field in. Uh, you know, it's always nice when we play there. And we get to use uh, Anderson High School as well, which is a high school here in Austin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that uh, what what age group is that? Do you have different age divisions? So, yeah, yeah. So they have they, they they do separate it. They have an eighteen and over, you know, which we we call you know just the open league because, um, you know, you got the talent regardless of the age you can play in the eighteen and up. Then you got the thirty and up, 
and then you got 40 and up, and you got 50 and up, and you also have 60 and up. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's exactly how yeah. it is here, yeah. Except we don't have 60 yeah. or 50. Yeah, no. But, <laughs> I, you know, I, I helped manage a 60 and 65-year-old team in Phoenix one year, and those guys came out of San Antonio. That's when I was living in Austin. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know austin had that but uh yeah, I wow, mean, that's, man. yeah that's pretty cool that's still, amazing still, still man. playing so, yeah it, it's a fairly large league then so what's the biggest uh out of all those divisions which one's the biggest one um uh, the 18 and over is usually always the, the the most competitive and the one with the more the, the more teams in the division okay yeah we call it the open division here yeah, as well yeah, yeah we do the same thing yeah yeah, yeah that's that's what we call it too. It's just on, on the website they just have 18 plus, but really it's, it's the open. Okay. So do you guys as well? I guess most of you guys 18 and up, or you do you play in the 30 and up? Um, well, I'm the uh, uh, coach slash player, right, for the bullies and 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 now you know USA. I'll play in the three divisions. I'll play in the open, and I'll play in the 30, and I'll play in the 40 because I'm, I'm 40. I mean, I'm, you know, 47. I just took 47 uh, last month. So, you know, I try to keep up with the young bucks as much as I can. Hey, that's all we but, can do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's all we can do. <laughs> I, do I, I hear that. I hear yeah. that for sure. Uh, we're all 40. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure Jose is. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, you there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Um, th That's cool, man. So, so you guys, so you guys decided to come here to to uh, to play. So it's every weekend. You guys coming down here? So the way the way they set it up was because since they knew that we had to travel to Austin, they they allowed us to travel every other weekend just so it wouldn't get pricey in us as far as getting hotels all the time. Hmm. So uh, we traveled every other weekend, and they gave us uh, three days gym. So we would play, you know, Saturday in the afternoon, and then uh, we stayed the night, and then Sunday morning. Uh, we would play, and then you know, and we play our second game. So we get three games in, and then we would travel back. Wow! Do you guys have a bus, or is everybody on their own? <laughs> okay, again? Do you guys have a bus, or is everybody on their own driving over here? Yeah, no, pretty much everybody. Everybody drives on their own. You know, there's a couple of guys who would call pool and stuff like that. But yeah, we got there on our own. Damn, that's that's some dedication. Think about that, man. You're playing yeah. basically a tournament, right? Yeah. Three fucking games, and then you got to drive two and a half hours, three hours back I mean, to Austin. Austin ha has to be that sorry to be have to. Damn. How's the competition level over there? Yeah, how's the competition over there in yeah, Austin? It, here in Austin, um, it, it, it's it's. Definitely big. I mean, I mean, we've got some teams um, that carry uh, like like big talent. I mean, uh, I mean, there's like a, there's a team that always plays. They didn't play this year only because of uh, you know COVID and stuff like that. But there's a team here that uh, played there. The name White Sox, and uh, they carry you know big pitchers. You know, former you know retired you know you know minor league pitchers, MLB pitchers, stuff like that. So they bring the heat every time, and then of course. Um, you know, they hit the ball all the time. I mean, regardless, I mean, you can, it don't matter what the score is, they're, they're going to score every time. So we've been able to beat them a couple of times, but, you know, come playoff, you know, they bring it. Got you, got yeah. you. I think that's a commitment, you know, every other weekend coming in. Dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I like it. I mean, if you really want to play, you, you enjoy the game that much. I mean, you, I'm all for it. I mean, you think about it, you're driving two and a half hours here, the hotel, right? That's the cost. And then uh, you're here for the weekend, right? And then you gotta drive. And then after you play two games that day, you're just driving back. Like, I mean, that, that's. I mean, there's guys that won't even drive fucking 45 minutes. Here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, that, that, we, we won't drive to coastal. We won't. You don't. Just, no, neither would I. That, that's no. that's that's what's crazy. Like coastal, that's one of the leagues that I don't I haven't played in yet. And it's like, nah, I don't want. There's enough baseball here in Houston. I don't yeah. need to go to coastal. And you're coming from fucking Austin. But that's you know, crazy. there's probably I, there can't be as much baseball in in uh, Austin as there's in Houston. You know, geographically, it's pretty small population too. Um, so you know, you probably you just want to broaden your horizon, right? Let's look at some more talent. Let's Correct. see some more pitching. Yeah, it, it's an experiment. You know, you enjoy the game. More power to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. and it's been successful, right? Because you guys, uh, well, so what 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 place did you guys come in in the regular season? Well, we came in at eleven and one there at Coastal. Oh. Um, so, like, like I said, this is our, our this was our very first time playing at that league. So, we were learning as as as, as we were going as far as how everything uh, would run there. Yeah. So I, I know uh, the Houston Apollos uh, posted 
on the, uh, I guess on their page, you know, that they they were in a season chance with a record of four and one, but we were eleven and one, so we didn't understand yeah, how, I, what that meant or, or how that how that worked. You know, we were we always played. You you know, there was no such thing as in the season champs. It was you know you go through the playoffs and then the winner gets crowned the champ. Yeah. So uh, we ended up we ended up eleven and one. Our only loss was at, um, against the Apollos. Uh, we had a, we had a great game. There was a, a one game difference. It was five to four. The only thing is that uh, we played on a Saturday and we ran out of daylight, and so we couldn't finish the ninth. We were going to the top of the ninth with a score five to four with our top of the lineup coming up. So we didn't get to uh, we didn't get to finish it off, but they made it official and uh, they finished it five to four. Oh man, that sucks. That's that's a tough way to go. That's a tough one. But, you know what's funny? Yeah. Uh, it's funny you say that because when I was watching, when I was looking at the at the standings, I was kind of confused too. I see you have a record of eleven and one. Right, so and then I'm like, and then the other guys have like you know five games or whatever under their belt, six games, and then and yeah. then uh, I'm kind of going, okay, that's weird math there. I don't understand what's going on there. And then the other thing was like, uh, I heard I heard the same thing you said, like, hey, you know that the, that the Apollos got first place in the regular season, which I'm like, how? I don't I, like, I I just was already confused. Yeah, and I actually uh, reached out to. Um, God dang, Manny, Manny Ramirez, he's like the the, the coach over there for uh, for the Apollos. And um, I was like, hey, so this fall tournament, like, is that is that what you guys call, like, the playoffs or something? He's like, no, no, it's like a separate thing. I'm like, oh, shit. So that's when he said, oh, well, yeah, yeah. We, we took we took regular season, which, again, doesn't – I'm just as confused as you are. So um, I don't right, know. Right, right. <laughs> and and, and, and here again, we, we went into this weekend – and, and, and so I, I heard it here on, on, on your podcast here – Ball ball I, mean, I, I was under the impression that this was the, you know, the playoff. Right, that's what I thought and, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, and and then of course, um, and Andy Dunn, he was really, uh, really, really, really good with uh, communicating with me. You know, making sure you know that we're going to be there that weekend or whatever we were playing. And we had a conversation, and he goes, "Hey, um, the playoff brackets are already set. You know, you, you know, make sure you guys, you know, are here on time and stuff like that." But he himself was calling it the playoff. And like I said, you know, we went into the weekend. With a, you know, in our mind that we're playing, you know, the playoffs, yeah. not not just you know a, a tournament. And then plus, we were seated. So how can you have a, a, a tournament and put teams on brackets with with you know rankings if, if, if it's just a tournament? Yeah, you know what I mean? ranked so to already come use. into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I I, yeah. I I was so confused, man. It, it was it was most. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what won't be as confusing if, if you come join this HBA. <laughs> yeah, a little more organized, man. A little more organized, man. Sure. Hey, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, funny. it's funny you mentioned that because we went to Houston not knowing what leagues were there. We just thought it was coastal. Oh, okay. You know, gotcha. So we didn't know any other leagues. And now that you know, we're, we're, we've been traveling there, you know, we're getting to know Houston more, now we see that there's a lot more leagues other than just coastal. Hundred percent, man. You know, there's, there's definitely, you know, uh, I'm like I said, I'm glad you reached out to me, and, and you know, just, just follow us, man. And, and we, you know, we shout out all the leagues. You know, we're, you know, we play yeah. in multiple leagues, but there's a ton of baseball here, and um, you know, but, but one thing that Coastal does have that everybody's pumped up on is the classic. I mean, that's that yeah. right there, <laughs> that right there gets everybody going, you know. Uh, so it's gonna be very, very exciting to, uh, to see that and. And uh, you know, it's it's a, you're you're managing that team, and and that that's kind of walk us through that. How'd that happen? Well, it, it, this is how it happened. So when we when uh, we went to go play out there before the season even started, Dunn had mentioned, "Hey, you guys come out here. You know, whoever has you know the best record, we're going to make them Team USA." And he goes, "We've never had a Team USA before." And of course, he mentioned, you know. Uh, he had to explain to me what the, the version of the classic was because again, again, you know, we've never played over there. We don't know the tradition that you guys have and stuff like that. Yeah. So he kind of, kind of, kind of let me know what it was about. So and we, again, we were under the impression that all the teams knew about it. So of course, you know, we went to go, we went to go play hard, you know, because we, we wanted that, uh, you know, that opportunity. So we went, played hard, you know, every game, and of course, as you guys saw, you know, we came out with the best record. So Dunn was like, hey, uh, will you guys, you know, represent the Team USA in the Classic? And we were like, hell yeah, we, we want to be part of it. And that's how it came about. 
Mm, that's mm. cool, man. So you you got a little cherry picked right there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what well, well, that that definitely worked out pretty good for you there. You know, um, the other thing the other thing I was gonna mention uh, I can't, before I forget is uh, choice. Uh, he's saying. Uh, he has a couple townhomes. <laughs> he said he has a couple Airbnb. townhomes. For, Airbnb for you, man. So he's look him up on the comments there. But the other thing too, the other the other the other thing I forgot to mention too was uh, we the, can wheel and deal on the show. Of course, uh, man. I, I mean, hey, we got we got a shot at everybody, right? We'll, we'll connect ball players. Yeah, and ball players. you want jerseys? Come talk to Jose, right? <laughs> so you know the other thing yeah, too. Yeah. You know the other thing too is uh, the, and I think a couple of your guys. I'm not sure if you're on, but I know a few of the guys are on this page called the best baseball in Houston. That's another good avenue to find other, you know, leagues and, and, and what's going on in Houston with baseball between us two, man, there's enough information there that, you know, there's other, other things you can do, but definitely, you know, that, that classic, man. I mean, it, I, from, I don't know how many years he's been doing it, but I know this is my second year being aware of it, man. And I'm, I'm excited about it. And, and, you know, and I think, and I think, um, and I think, uh, you know, there was, uh, a lot of back and forth about the, you know, the USA team. And, and I think, uh, some of that was kind of misunderstood a little bit, you know, the, uh, the, I think everybody's, um, everybody's disappointment wasn't with you guys. It was more with the, the, the loaner of the league that they had been wanting to have a USA team, um, since like last year. And it just, for whatever reason they didn't. So, um, but I'm glad. Right, I'm, right. I'm, yeah. And I'm, then to give it to someone out, you know, of the tournament setting in another city. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, you, you can understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was totally, to... I, yeah, I, told, I totally get it. Like, like I said, you know, we needed the scene. We needed, we needed a, the Houston baseball team. And um, we were totally cool with them and the tradition that you guys had and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we don't know any, anybody out there. We don't know any of the players. We don't know any of the coaches. We don't know anything other than, you know, Andy Dunn. So he's the one just communicating with me, you know, letting me know, like, hey, you know, you guys are going to continue to say. And um, it wasn't until later that we found out that, you know what, it created chaos. And it, and it came from there. <laughs> he was telling me that it, it, it created chaos by him doing that and stuff like that. Yeah. And he said, you know, he made another another Team USA. He allowed, you know, the Houston guys to make another you know, Team USA, which, you know, we're totally fine. And, you know, like I said, for us, it's just we're thankful for the opportunity to keep yeah. playing and it seems like this is a uh, a super high tradition, you know, she's something that, that that you guys do, and I think it's awesome. And and you know, we're just we're just happy to be a part of it. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. No, it it definitely, you know, I'm I'm glad you see it that way, man, because it just like it just kind of got out of hand really uh, really fast, and it was like, hey, no. Nah. Well, I think Dunn is creating buzz, right? <laughs> Let, let's create buzz and havoc, and everyone's like, gonna know. Like, Everybody's like gonna night, know, right? right? Yeah. He just he's he's promoting it. He's hyping it up, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's why I call yeah. it the. Uh, he's selling tickets. What, what's Costa it? Novella classic, <laughs> right? The Costa, Costa Novella. Hey, this what, episode. What do you call that? What's that guy? The pro, the, the promoter for the fights? Uh, Don King. Don King. There yeah. you go. We call him Don King. Uh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, I think. Um, you know, I, when, one of the things I had said, you know, when, when there was a team he was saying, like, hey, they're not in nobody on. I was like, but they already have a team. Almost any team here in Houston, if they would have got the opportunity, would have probably done the same thing, kind of kept it with their own team. You know, picked a couple of players here and there from somebody else, but more they would have kept their whole team on there. So to me, it was no, nothing out of the ordinary what you guys did there. So, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be yeah. definitely exciting, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's hopefully, cross our fingers that, that you guys get to finish the tournament because I know last season they had to break it up into two um, two weekends because of the rain. I think they got rained down on the second second day. I mean, now they got more teams. I think they're doing yeah. it three days now, right? If I remember right, three days. Yeah, or, I think three yeah, days. Yes, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 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 seven, eight, nine. Yeah, before it was it was only two days and there was you know less teams and it's one field. My understanding or one location. Now it's Hopefully two locations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sure hope the weather abides. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's in January too, so it might be pretty cold if it's not raining. Well, dude, it's cold and raining. That's the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. <laughs> That's the worst. So. It gets colder in Austin, I think. They're probably more used to it. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. yeah well, this Sunday uh, when we played, when we left here, Austin, it was thirty degrees. See. Wow. And we got to we got to Houston and it was uh, fifty degrees, so that was yeah a big yeah. difference. That that is the hill country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, cool. Anything else you want to th throw out there, Joe? Uh, no, no. Like I said, you know, um, I just you know wanted to come in and, 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 and chime in and let you guys know what we're about. You know, we're a bunch of uh, a group, a good group of guys. You know, we cool. all love to play ball and stuff like that. Um, and we get excited to play. 
and, and we, we love the competition. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you reached out to me, man. And you know, that's what this, you know, this podcast is about is trying to get, you know, all the, 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 the leagues in Houston talking about just best baseball in Houston. That's it, you know. And so I think when, you know, when we saw, you know, uh, kind of like Cody said, like you got an out of town team coming in here, you know, Austin Bullies, like, oh man, let's, you know, kind of, I kind of. I didn't hear about you guys until they made you guys Team USA because I really, um, I try, I'm trying to get a plug over there with uh, Coastal to, to, to feed me some information. There was a few teams that have since left that league and gone to other leagues. And so I don't have that info mm-hmm. that I used to have over there. But I'm, I'm glad you reached out. And, you know, definitely, you know, anytime you want to know something about here, just reach out to me, whatever, or, you know, throw it out there on the Best, Ball, Best Baseball Houston um, page and, and uh you know, whatever information you want and, uh, you know, we provide it to you, man. Because definitely, you know, at the end of the day, we all love this game. That's why we're here. I mean, yeah. shoot, you know, that's why we're still doing it at yeah. 40, right? <laughs> I'm not even good at it, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there. When you, when, you, when you can't play, manage, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those that can't teach, you know? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Oh man, that's cool, bro. That's cool, man. Um, all right, man. Well, I appreciate you jumping on, man, and uh, you know, yeah, stay man. tuned, man. And I'm, I'm, you know, hopefully we get to meet each other. I mean, I know me and Cody are definitely gonna be there at the classic, but yeah, we'll be there. We'll, we'll, we'll chat. We'll see you on the field. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all come by and say hi, man. We could meet the guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Will do. Come play in HBA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. We're, we're... <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely look into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely look into it. We'll, we'll talk to you later, man. Appreciate you calling in. All right, thank you guys. Uh, All right, you guys. Good See evening. Yeah, man, that that was definitely cool, man. That uh, that's you know, real cool. Yeah, yeah that he... sounds like a uh, that you know, good head on his shoulders and pretty good uh, attitude. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah look heads. forward to watching his team, seeing what they could do. I mean, eleven to one, it's no pushover. No, man, yeah. and, and then and then you you he, like he said, he's like they all don't play on the same team, so yeah. he basically yeah. made an all star team yeah. of. The town out of Houston, right. so I mean, I'm sorry, out of Austin. Yeah, that makes sense. There was somebody that was uh, on the in the uh, that uh, choices group, the best baseball in Houston, and he he was chiming in after he was here, reading everybody's comments, and he took it personal. Yeah, it seemed like, and he was just voicing yeah. voicing his presence, and um, but you know, I kind of said a few things like, "Hey, man, don't say stuff like that." Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, it got a little out of hand, man. Like, yeah, like, like, I, like it became a novella. I mean, yeah. the 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 thing. Uh, I think, uh, like uh, Dalton said last time on the show, <laughs> for a while, for a couple of days, I was waking up like, what's gonna, what's gonna happen today? Well, who's gonna pop off at the yeah. mountain? <laughs> it just, yeah. it just, it just, it's uh, just like you said, it's a novella, man. It's a novella, and uh, it's it's funny and interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's entertaining, you know. And I, I know. I know choice gets in there and gets people riled up too, you know. So uh, it's 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 good, yeah. man. I mean, it's it's fun. It's it's whatever, right? It I makes mean. the uh, the games more meaningful, right? When <laughs> well, when there's backstories. You know, Obreda's like that, but you have to go to the meeting. Oh right, uh, yeah, to, right. Uh, to be part of the uh, talks. <laughs> so I used to love going to uh, to the to meetings at uh, uh, the Polo Sports Bar. That's where they have it at. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Lupe Lupe, uh, that's his bar. It's beer only, so and it's in the middle of the you know the, the old heights pretty much. Yeah. Um, and next door they build a neat brand new bar there, and it's like a real hipster, yeah. uh, kind of like un- grungy. Right. But it's always packed, and some of them will float over on Mondays when we have the meeting, and it's like a you know a bunch of. <laughs> Like deals and stuff, you know, like <laughs> hey, <laughs> so much Mexican dudes. Hey, and... Cody walks in, everybody just turns around, like, "Hey, who the fuck's oh, in there?" Oh yeah, you stick out right away. Right? <laughs> Until I start like, speaking oh. to them, and then they're buying me beers. All the umpires are there too. It's so funny, dude. And then, oh you know, shit! And if you're in good with everybody, then you get fed at the end. They usually nice. have like a burrito or something, something nice. good to eat. But uh, I miss those those days. But so that's where you would build up team drama. Oh yeah. Oh, you know yeah. the one beer after the other. It's oh, I'll yeah. kick your ass. No, there, really. there ain't no keyboard warrior there. You're sitting yeah. there talking face yeah. to face. Like that's a good point, have, bro. You have to go talk with Jesse Lopez. You know Jesse James over here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Find you know, your face, right? Yeah. Talking about let's let's see what this. There's a protest going on, right? They get the both teams and they freaking talk about it. Yeah. And at the end, uh, we decide that well they will decide as a t- league with all the coaches 
who was in the right and who was in the wrong. No shit, that's cool, dude. Yeah, and sometimes, commissioner's court, huh? No shit. And sometimes that's... everybody was cool with each other. We're like, nah, we're not gonna pick. You pick Balta, and Balta's like, ah, oh, damn. He's like, all gotta right, gotta be the well, bad guy, right? You know, I, uh, it's gonna have to go this way. And yeah. of course, there's always somebody that wasn't happy. Well, never, never, no. never unanimous. Are you no. kidding me? <laughs> well, dude, it's like an umpire, right? It wouldn't be fun if it was. <laughs> when an umpire makes a call, like half, half, half the people are gonna like his call. The other half yeah. not gonna like it. Yeah. You know, just the way it's gonna go. So. Well, I'm sure he's like. Do not leave it up to me. Somebody's <laughs> going to be pissed. Yeah, hey. it's funny yeah. how everybody branched it out. That's where we all started, kind of. Um, and it's great seeing, like, Hot Shots winning, Cuba winning, you know, I'm yeah. like, Ramones. And I'm like, man, I remember you played with those guys for yeah. long, for years. Yeah. I know, and then we all kind of went our own way. Yeah. But see, I, I think what makes it, one of the things I love about so many leagues in Houston is that, so, like, when you're in Obrera, you had to pick a team, and that's it, right? Like, you couldn't go in the divisions, right? If you played in AAA, you stayed in AAA. You couldn't go to AA, da, 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 right? So, Supposedly. So, well, yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah that, that's, you know, it's supposed to be like that. People would still do yeah. it. But the thing is, is, like, with so many teams in Houston or leagues, I can play with you on Sunday, and then I can play against you on Sunday. But on Saturday, we're teammates, and then we could be – uh, again, for, uh, you know, against each other on Fridays or during the week, whatever league I'm in, you know. So sometimes, like, you know, we've seen it a lot this season, too many, a lot of crossovers. Sometimes we're teammates, sometimes we're playing against each other. So I think that's what's kind of, you know, badass and beautiful about this, this, this city right now, that it's so big that there's enough baseball for everybody and, and you're playing. Where before it was just like, hey, you're on that team and that's it. Like, you know, a lot of baseball, a lot of baseball a man. A lot of ball players, they all need a home. <laughs> uh, eventually like, Armando you're I, gonna I, play with everybody I, I feel like the, I feel like he's trying to get a pitch over here <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to be a there's a home right here, right here. Cyclone <laughs> you know no uh, Cyclone is, no Cyclone's full I mean right it's, it's full uh, See? it's full what are you talking about <laughs> full and it's by invite only <laughs> damn damn that's true man uh, I'm, I'm not uh, putting it out there like some teams are out days, <laughs> like, man, like Gulf Coast, wait, Gulf Coast, wait, Gulf Coast, uh, hot shot, <laughs> <laughs> uh, aka the the manager of uh, t Mexico, uh, original Mexico, I guess, yeah, because Jordan has original Mexico, and then there's, uh, I think, um, Mexico North is Jonathan Gar, Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan Garza, which is the stealth coastal guy, the guy he was talking about, he's doing the the Mexico North, so. Um, and that's also the Braves. Is he the Braves? He was or is? I don't know. Okay. I, I already told him, Jordan. I already told him that uh, that uh, we got an invite to go play for the Gulf Coast Indians. So. <laughs> where, where do we sign? Yeah, where do we sign, man? Uh, but you know, first I gotta see. Uh, you know, uh, I'm only going if X is going because you know I'm playing with X on Sunday. So. Uh, we'll see how that goes. He's gonna negotiate me out of the contract, or if X doesn't go, then I guess I'm staying with X. Uh, but, um, you know, what's up, Chris? But, you know, I, th I think that's, that. again, that's a, that's a beautiful part of it, man. There's a, there's a lot of baseball, you know. So we see, we've seen it definitely grow with the show and with the, the you know, Best Baseball Houston page, man. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, I mean, we're, I mean, I think we're up there with, like, I think the same followers, we basically have the same followers, man, with a lot of shit talking. Yeah. So, um, Jose, you got any last words? I think we're kind of, we're hour and 20 minutes, so I think we Yeah, good. so uh, I want to close it out with, you know, this, uh, it's been a long time coming for us. You guys all suck. <laughs> no. Um, I'm announcing retirement. <laughs> oh, I'm going at the top. I'm going like Jerry Seinfeld. I'm going at the top. <laughs> no, you know, this, my, my uh, I posted about it, but this, this team was my father's. Uh, he passed away in 2014, and he never got to win a championship in Obrera, you know, coaching the Cyclones. And so figured, hey, you know what? How hard can it be? You know, and we're like, hey, you know, Dad, we're going to keep your team going, and uh, we're going to win a, win a championship for you. We're going to dedicate it for you. Well, shit, that was 2014, man. Yeah. And so 2021, and he finally came, and it was it was, uh, it was was a great feeling, man. I bet, especially, you know, especially for your feel. dad, man. Of That's... course, we took like a year or two off after he passed, and we tried to come back maybe after a year um, of being off. Uh, and it just wasn't the same because, mm -hmm. you know, we never really played without him being there every Sunday. That was the tradition. Uh, uh, it was my two brothers and myself, three of us, and then my dad. And that was our time to, we spent with them every every weekend, every Sunday. During the week, we went to school, we worked, whatever. But Sunday was ours. 
and uh, it started off with my uncles too, and my family, my cousins, and stuff. And uh, that kind of grew into what it is now. So when he passed away, made a promise, and it finally happened, man. I mean, just it's been a long time. Well, man. like you years. just said, you learned that it's not easy, right? It's you thought it was, it could easy. be, but yeah, no. It, and it's all these not. people that you know flaunt and everything, like it's nothing, man. It's not that easy yeah. unless you're playing like not that good competition then yeah but um, then you know what, what are you what's the worst, right yeah, yeah yeah so you know you, you gotta step your, out of your comfort zone and play you know uh the best you can you know best play game uh teams you can and and that's how you really test it out and well i i commend you for keeping your dad's team yeah. and, and and moving my forward family, and... i know it means a lot to my family too i have family in mexico that have uh you know teams there a whole league um in laredo texas and nuevo laredo uh my whole you know family is all embedded in baseball so that's cool man we have leagues everywhere teams everywhere um yeah we're very proud of everybody i'm sure they're very, real happy to hear about this news so i'll be getting hit up left and right and i i it, it i mean I'm, what three days in and yeah. it's just surreal man it's, right. it's so awesome man so we're gonna celebrate friday Cyclones, <laughs> can I have a championship party. Uh, it's private, so no, no, invite, no, invite only. Invite, invite only, just like our team. So That's yeah, funny. we're looking forward to celebrating, and uh, you know, hopefully we don't post too many things. But right. I'm sure we'll the, the nostalgia there. is going crazy right now because I've been posting like crazy. I'm just so happy about it. So well, I mean, I, I, as you should be. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's Again, my first congratulations. One, job well done. <laughs> Yeah, job well done, man. Thank I mean, you. it's 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 uh, a oh, third year in the league, and and uh, you put a good team together. You got you know good good uh, good uh, good players, and uh, you know I'm glad you're enjoying the league. I'm glad you know you're you're a big uh, uh, proponent of the of the league. You know you know shouting it out. Yeah. So um, you know it, it kind of sells itself, right? You know what I mean, it basically. Does, I mean. So, um, but uh, you know it's I'm glad you did that for your dad. That's pretty cool, man. I know there's a backstory to that. So yeah, that's yeah. that's that's awesome, man. It's definitely. You know, uh, it's his team, man. So it's it's uh, a yeah. it's an honor. So you, I guess you have a bat to commemorate that too now, right? Yeah. So the plan is to I'm gonna get an extra bat and I'm gonna go install it on his tombstone. That has to. That's cool, dude. Mexico. And I had a few guy players already told me, hey, when you go, we're going with you. Like, dude, that's cool. cool, man. That's cool, man. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm glad uh, glad you got it, man. Baseball runs Pretty deep. Sure. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah. it does. More than a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, we, we can all agree to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, the last thing I want to say, because I, I, I feel like I needed to talk about this, but uh, we all know Jimmy Rivera, right? Fucking legend there. I'm mm -hmm. playing with him on Saturday, bro. You know, so pe so you, Jimmy Rivera called the shot, right? Uh, in the playoff game, right? Yeah, he did. Uh, it was against us. <laughs> so, so check this out. So what happens when you when you make him mad? You poke at him. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make him mad, bro. I, like, I, I know, I, I know, I know. Jeez. You were just trying to follow the rules, and you know we talked about that. You got really mad at me, bro. I, I mean, that's what. What are you supposed <laughs> to do? If you lose that game because he came back in there, yeah, how, how would you feel about oh, that? Oh, dude, you like, people you could, never, yeah, never you hear could, it. You could. I was a little irritated because you know there was a little all chirping going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just, you know. But you know, you gotta, you gotta stay in the moment. You Whatever. gotta, you gotta win the game. You gotta win the game. Yeah. But I'm playing with them on Saturday, right, in the Veterans yeah. League. And so he he's pitching, right? And uh, he calls his shot, like, pitching. Hey, man, it's going to go to second. Boom, goes to second. Hey, man, it's going to go to third. Hey, man, it's going to go to the left field. Gets hit the left field. Like, I was like, I think he called, like, three, three or four shots in a row. Like where the ball was gonna go, and I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, Jimmy trying to be my uh, coach over here. Like, damn, dude, I, how I, you gonna see this play? Dude, I I was like so fucking amazed. I'm like, how did this? Like, I've seen people call shots on like where they're gonna hit it, but this fool called it on um on fucking pitching, <laughs> and we were laughing because like, oh no way it's gonna happen second time. Oh no way it's gonna happen third. Like, it, like it wow. happened, and then it was funny too because um he hit a he hit a, a home run run on the line right, but it's one of those where like it curves, so like did it curve? On this side of the fence or that side of the fence, right? Uh -huh. Of course, they called it foul, right? And, of course, he's like, hey, it's fair, this and this and that. I say, hey, man, next time fucking hit center, so there's no reason to. Right? <laughs> to no to, question. No question. And guess They're what? called no doubters for a reason. Next fucking, <laughs> next, next at bat, he sends it to left center. Jeez. Dude's a fucking beast, uh, bro. Is that better? <laughs> yeah. No. See that one? <laughs> 
Damn, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's a legend, bro. Like, that, that's yeah, the base. He's he's a good teammate. He's fucking funny, dude. He's funny, dude. Yeah, I, I definitely hope uh, I'll definitely come comes over to the Pirates, man. But uh, I just that was my little shout out to Jimmy because it was funny. Uh, and of course, he's trying to play catch up because I think um, you know Pedro uh, Pedro Garcia has like I think three four home runs in that, and three of them came in one game. So. Mm. You know, Jimmy, you know, Jimmy actually hit two that game, but only one counted, so they're playing with, you know, playing catch up. So we'll see how that goes on Saturday. But uh, you got anything else, Cody? Um, Practice, get better, and you too can win a championship like oh, Jose. Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good night. Good, right, night. good night. Good night, y'all. Go Cyclones. <laughs>